Hello and welcome to uh, this podcast. This is a brand new podcast. Uh, my name is Jared McDonough and I'm with... Matt Durban. And Matt Durban is a great friend of mine and we're... Uh, I think we've said that we're going to do... How many? Should we do like at least six podcasts? Should we do one a week? What do you reckon? Well, yeah, we can go for that. Yeah. So we try and do like, one a know, week. Some manageable size. Yeah. You know, it's, it's possible. And we're, we're going to see... It's a good excuse to meet up and just talk random nonsense. And it's a, Yeah, exactly. I think all that sounds really good. So uh, we had a couple of things that we were definitely going to do. So the What's first that? thing... time limit. Time limit. So we're going to stick it at... 25 minutes? We're going to stick it at or st- stick at 25 stick. minutes. I don't We're know what you're sticking. Stick it. Uh, We're going to stick it at 25. at where. Yeah. But, yeah, let's stick on that. Okay, for, for whatever reason. Because maybe that's what people attention spans are. Do you what, think? What was that? Do you think maybe people's attention spans are 25 minutes or less? What are you talking about again? Exactly, yeah. Okay. And uh, and the other thing we're going to talk about this evening, uh, because we're in a pub now, aren't we? Can you remember what pub we're in, Matt? No, no, that's irrelevant. We're in a pub in Soho in London, uh, and it's a really nice pub. It's, it's tiny. Corner. You can't believe you haven't been in it before. It's been a while, yeah, and I've never been in it's either. It's tiny. So. It's a tiny there's pub. Always, there's always new places uh, in London or anywhere that you haven't been. So, so it's quite a nice place to come. And um, we're going to. We're going to choose a name, aren't we, for the podcast? Yeah, and it's definitely not going to be nice because I remember one of my uh, friends at primary school saying that the, um, his English teacher said that the word nice shouldn't be used as a descriptive word because it's too non descriptive. That's the word. So, did you ever come up with any really amazing? What was the best thing you ever wrote at primary school? The best thing I ever wrote? Well, I got a. A, a Cadbury's uh, chocolate bar for effort for a school report on another school. Man. Um, it's just, I didn't think I would win it, but that's the point about effort. You just, you, you know, I did a good effort. Effort's a nice way of saying <laughs> it's not very good, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> well, it certainly wasn't the best, but then I wasn't one, the one to judge. I just tried to do my best. I didn't think I was anywhere close. I was very surprised. I've still got the um, Cadbury's wrapper somewhere. But, you, um, you've kept the Cadbury's wrapper. That's pretty good. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. it's, um, you know, it's, you know, my writing wasn't straight. You know, it drooped down a bit. I was a little bit perturbed by that because I tried to not do that, but did a good, tried to do a good job. But at the same time, if you put your heart and soul into anything, you can't be disappointed. And that's something that I've, I've, I've taken from the yeah. tender age of eight or nine, something like that. Did you uh, did you ever have to read any stories out in your classroom or in the school assembly or anything? Yeah, well, I was always known as a bit of a chatterbox when I was eight years old. I was moved eight times and ended up having to sit next to Simon Watts, um, yeah. who was also the, the, my equivalent. And uh, so we just ended up sitting next to each other because we moved so many times. We sat next to each other, and in the end, we were doing like this uh, trial for um, was it what was it for Liverpool play, school, no, school play speech? Yeah. So I had to say something, a simple line like "and the fog came down over the pond" or something like that. So we went down to the end of the corridor, said yeah. the line. And my voice just tended to boom more than anyone else's, and they said, OK, you're the one for the job. So that's an interesting way to, uh, to act, isn't it? To be the loudest person <laughs> in the room, <laughs> to be able to be... So well, I would have clearly said... Clearly you were working with a high-class yeah. director well, who yeah. valued volume over emotional impact. Well, well maybe... <laughs> Emotional impact wasn't mentioned at that yeah. uh, at that stage. What, but uh, what was the role again? It was just background voice of background voice of voice m- mist coming that? down over what? some land area. What uh, what play were you doing? I uh, haven't got the foggiest mist. idea. If oh, you very the good, phone. foggiest idea. Mist coming down. Yeah. Yeah, now we you should be on Radio Four. Well, I don't know about that, but this. Um, yeah, anyway, I didn't get the job because I discounted myself. I, I, you know, through, you know, simple logic, I don't know if logic's the right word, but yeah. practicality, efficiency of personnel, I, I merely efficiency said... Efficiency of personnel, <laughs> right? I merely said, 
why don't you just get someone who's not in the play at that moment, who's not on stage, just to say it? And they go, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then, so I just counted myself out of all the fun. And I just went, I, I was at home that night while the, everyone was doing the play. OK, that's a shame. I had quite a few good roles at Yeah, at well, I guess school. it would have been fun. I would have just forget, So get you just fun. stayed at home when everyone else was at school? Well, I say stayed at home. I went home after school, yeah. and did the things that I did, you do at home. But everyone else stayed at school and was take, took part in the play. Yeah, I was either watching Wimbledon if it was summer or Why Don't yeah. You... You know. Yeah, if it was summer as well, because Why Don't You was only ever on during the summer holidays. Was it? Yeah. Well, it was only on ever during the in the uh, morning, wasn't it? Why Don't You? It was never on in the in the afternoon. Well, didn't you know? I did know. Didn't Why you know? That, that you? wouldn't be a bad name for the yeah. podcast. We were just talking about naming the podcast. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're talking about the name Possibly, of, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean... Yeah. And I, I, I quite liked the... No I thought... Hmm. Well, the na- na- naming something can be quite good if it's spontaneous. I remember doing um, a pub quiz when I was a teenager, and one of the most popular quiz names uh, suggested by a Man City fan was, if you hate Man United, clap your hands. Yeah. Fortunately, being teenagers, we were a good 50 years younger on average than the, the other pub quiz teams, so we were always last, and... Being last, our name was read out last, and we'd always get a round of applause at the end of the. And what was your team called? Well, I just said, if you hate Man United, you know, you kept your hands. Oh, I thought this was some Manchester one. City fan. We changed every that. week. You, ch- you, you choose oh, a different name. He was like a week. Man City fan in your group. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. it was like some random Man City fan that you'd met who lived in. No, no, no. no. Where are you from then, Matt? Tell everyone where you're from. Well, I was bred in. Well, it's not the right <laughs> word. <laughs> but I was, I was brought Don't get up. yourself into trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> in, in Exeter City in uh, Devon, Devonshire, West yeah. Country, as some people uh, yeah. know it as. And so, can it's I? Good, do, I'm going to describe Matt to, to everyone there. So Matt is. I did it in my time. Matt is about. How tall are you, Matt? Would you say I don't want to offend anyone no, by I'd, saying that you're... statistically, I'm uh, average height in the Napoleonic era. Okay, so Matt is about five foot three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit. Well, no, actually, I'm a little bit taller than the national okay. UK woman. So you're uh, when she's not wearing heels. <laughs> so you're about what five foot four? That is five the national five. average of a UK woman when she's not wearing heels. Okay. The last time I checked. Are you five foot four? Is that what we're going to go for? A little bit taller than that, I said. Five foot five, then. I'm not shy about saying my height, but I believe it's about one six five, one six six centimeters, which is about okay. one five foot no, not... six, five point five, yeah. I don't know, something like that. Give, so, what are we a just for, for the you know Imperials out there? Five foot five, five foot six. Yeah, I'm around about that. Five foot height, yeah. Five and a half. Is that what are we saying? Yeah. Five foot five like... and a half. Five foot six. Yeah, Let's say five yeah, foot yeah, six. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Matt is uh, uh, Korean. Uh, I probably uh, no, not. <laughs> Where do you get that from, me? <laughs> you uh, are, you, are you just making these things up to make me talk? Uh, no, no, no. I've got a yeah, I've got a kind of a mixed background. Oh, okay. But I have I have some Korean friends, so that's maybe yeah. why you you know. And Young Haseo to all the Korean listeners out there. Okay. You were born in this country, though. You were born in the UK. We know that. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what I was told. So, okay. yeah. But, in, sorry, um, I wasn't meaning to be rude. I believe, in, I I believe was... um, Crown Chair North London somewhere. No, no, that's fine, yeah. It's not, not many people know this. I mean, I don't, you know, not many people ask. And, um, yeah, I, I was lucky enough to um, find a home through the Thomas Corman yeah. Foundation. You know, it's a dark and murky past. Well, not that dark, to be quite honest. Although some people that have thought that I um, will just guess that my heritage is Jamaican. Some people laugh at that. Some people laugh more at the fact that when they see my face that people think that I'm Nigerian. Where do you, where's your, where, what, how would you define yourself if you had to... What, in what, your, in, in what way? Just well, so like, just, what, you know, just your, in any way. Uh, I mean, know, self is a big thing. Background, you know, where's your, you know, from your... Indian. Parents and things like your well, I mean, from the very question itself, I mean, you, you have to be careful about defining self because 
you know, you don't want to be too focused on the ego, self. You want to be, um, you want to be a, aware, conscious of the fact that you are, you know, another person, human, member of society. That you know, it's not just an entity on its own. You know, you, you're born from, you know, a relationship of some degree, some sense, and possibly in a family, and you, you grow up in groups. And sometimes, yeah, you have friends, you have, you know, um, you know, colleagues or whatever. And yeah, no man is an island unto itself. So you've got to, you know, you can define yourself in your own way, but then there's also the perception of others. You know, so it's. You know, I'm very hesitant about defining myself. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, but you lived, you were in Devon, Exeter for yeah the start of your life, weren't you? Until you went to university. And I think, how did I meet you? Uh, through a friend of a friend, I think uh, that I knew at university, which is fortunate. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just sort of ended up talking and uh, shed common interest in just talking and any bullshit for hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. You are a phenomenal talker, though, aren't you, Matt? Well known <laughs> as, a, a, as a phenomenal talker. Yeah, I think one of my friends nicknames me Dynamo because of that and many other yeah, incessant sure. traits. Um, but, yeah, it's... Um, so I think I'm a bit older. Am I a little bit older than you? It's, yeah, I, I think so, but yeah. not much, not much, but... You know, um, I just it, when you're talking about Exeter, it reminds me of uh, a period before I went to London to study at uni, and that was that was a good period. It was um, one where I didn't really want to go to uni. I didn't want to do any kind of academic stuff. Yeah. But I just like try and live a you know sort of what I thought would be a normal life, just get a job and just you know. Hang out with friends and you know do interests I enjoyed, which was like reading, writing, sport in particular, and um, drinking. You know, yeah. So, you know, just you know, have a bit of a laugh. You know, you're young, make the most of your youth. Yeah. Well, waste it. You know, that's what waste youth is for, right? Do you think it is? It. Do you think youth should be wasted? <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. Because you know. Well, do you think it matters? Do you think youth is like it's kind of like kind of made it well it's, it's, it's well it's do, difficult do you feel much different from how you felt when you were i guess you do we all obviously feel different from when we felt when we were little kids and teenagers and you know 20s and stuff but i well, kind of feel it more as a I'm, I'm not continual sure. i i don't have i'm not sure i don't if I feel, feel that like much breaks. different to be honest i don't feel i'm not sure if i feel that much different because yeah you know, in life, there's, there's always new surprises around the corner and there's always things to learn. And, um, you know, if you think that you've learned it all, then, you know, then you missed a trick somewhere, you know. Yeah. Um, it's, you know... i tell you when what. People, when try, people try to box themselves in by going, this is the way the world works, this is the way I know it, then they haven't learned anything and they... They, they come unstuck somewhere and, and, and quite often they they get stuck by just n limiting themselves and not being able to expand themselves and but that's fine you know if they want to live in that world then that's cool yeah yeah no fair enough fair enough so we still need let me get back on to what we've got a couple we've got one thing we've only got one job to do tonight what's that is that's that to choose a name what's the, the name of this pub well I don't know why don't I, we call it the name of this pub no I, I well they might give us, a little bit they might give us I'm free sure beer. If, I'm not, not sure if we want to go with that. No, they're not going to go with that. For the, about um, 25 vibe, minutes in hell. The vibe, no, the vibe in this place is not, doesn't warrant uh, naming after this pub. The anyway. Pomodoro. Do you not like this pub? Um, no, it's okay, but it's just um, it doesn't have a particular kind of friendly vibe. But, you know, when you're talking to people randomly in the pub... It's not so good. Like if you yeah. go into the John Snow, you're always up for a good laugh. People have, yeah. you know, people with a chin wag. You can talk to anyone in there. People are happy to share their life. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe every week we should go somewhere a different pub. Well, that'd be good. Just to, it doesn't have to be pubs, but yeah, we can do that, and we can just talk to people and yeah. you know, just you know, we could try the out find, we, what find we, out what they've got to give. Learn from them what their life's about, or I'm not so interested in that. I'm not so interested in learning about people. 
Well, I do know you're interested about naming this podcast. So, you know, what is the podcast? Is it... I don't even know where the name podcast came from. So is it like a little pod yeah. casting out to people? Is it a pod of sound, pod of knowledge, pod of recording? Um, you know, it could be. Someone's come up with the word pod. But it's, a, it's, like, it. it's a capsule dissemination. Dissemination. It could be the podcast with no name. Capsule dissemination doesn't really yeah, have quite a poor. ring to it. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that it's really poor. Not that I would choose it. Capsule dissemination. Okay, capsule dissemination is is where we're at the mo- at the moment. I, that is the that is in the lead. The kind of hint of the word random that I like. So like something along the lines yeah. of not really random. So what's the worst thing? Really what, random. What's the really worst random? Thing? Because the more random, the better, really. You know what, I've got a feeling... It it excites the neurons to be constantly pushed and cajoled and buffeted into... I bet you there's already one called really and random angles that you just wouldn't expect it to go into. I bet you there's one called really ra- really it's random. It's a bit like going on a roller coaster that you've got infinite degrees of trajectory. So at any point in time, you could be moved in any any angle. So if you think of all the degrees on a sphere, which I don't know what that is, but you know you've got like a hundred degrees in a circle. But then, if you you can split those degrees, it's in there 360 degrees on a circle. Good maths, mate. Good maths. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, well, not, well, I, I was you're like, going down. You've gone I, down. You've I gone saw down half the, the moon. Hole. You saw full of the moon. <laughs> you've gone down. Who's, who sung that song? Who sung that song? No, no. Is it the I, Water I'm, Boys? I'm, you I'm, I'm saw the. <laughs> come on, let's have a cheat. Let's have a sing. I, I, no, no. You I, I saw, saw the whole of the I'm, moon. I'm just misquoting the song. Go on, have a sing. Go on, give us a tune. You saw well, I made the whole I made, of the I'm, moon. I made up a tune the other day. It goes... Yeah. Dig a dig a dig dig dig. Dig 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 dig. Dig a dig a dig dig dig. Yeah. Dig 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 dig. Dig a dig a dig dig dig. Dig 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 dig. Dig a dig a dig dig dig. Dig 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 dig. Well, you just you just kind of like came in there with I just jamming with you. Just jamming a bit. But it's good. Where would you use that? Well, you're just you know, like hugging a toddler or a baby. That's what I just made it up when yeah. I was doing that. Yeah, it's just like enjoying life, you know. And they just seem to like, enjoy that. I think just adding some kind of, uh, you know, kind of not ver- yeah, verbals, music, audible kind of background to the motion that helps. Yeah. Uh, I'm not aware that they play kind of Kylie Minogue on like roller coasters or anything, but you know. They why should not? do. Do you think that would help? Make it more exciting. If they well, you, know the, you, know, you, know, you know those um, the fairground rides where they're spinning around doing like wheels and spinning around. The waltzes. Yeah. Well, why don't they just play? I'm spinning around. Well, they do play music on waltzes. On the waltzes, where they swing, you have to go. And they, they? they say scream if you want to go faster. And they spin you. Well, there like, you go then. I've missed the trick, you know, or yeah. I'm too late. They do, play, late. they do play music. Have you ever been to Carter's Steam Fair? No, I haven't. Where's oh, that? Carter's Steam Fair. Travels around the country, but goes to uh, all over London as well. Is it just steam engines? And it's like, no, no, it's a proper old-fashioned uh, fun fair. Do you know the original... But they have. Let me the tell you this. No, no, let me tell you this. Because they also have like something you never see anymore. They have like the wall of death, and it's tremendous. What the bicycles? Yeah, not motorbikes. bicycles, motorbikes. It's not bicycles. You'd have to be <laughs> really, You'd have to be like a Bradley Wiggins. Oh, bicycles with motors. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good. And, that's uh, a good definition. But they are like phenomenal. Like you know, when you see a bike, and, like you're looking over the top. Imagine looking over the top of like a giant wooden tub, and then there's a motorbike coming past your. Is there any ice cream Fingers in this tub? From sec- you know, inches away. Yeah, but is there any ice cream in this tub? You don't need it. Not when you've got motorbikes travelling. Yeah, but I would speed. think it would be more dangerous if it was kind of had a large quantity of ice cream in there, like a bit tutti frutti as well, with chunky, like large chunks of pineapple, maybe jackfruit. You know, jackfruit. That's very fashionable. You are so well, it's fashion. <laughs> it's I don't think just, I'm just thinking big fruit. They've just done the bell. I think they've just big... done the bell. Is yeah. it my round? Oh, well, how, well, how much time have we got? No, we, we've got to get the uh, podcast like name sorted. Six minutes or so. Mm. I, well, we've got to steer away of something that's a bit too traditionally obvious, like really random. 
Shall we get cars. another beer before they uh, close us up? I mean, well, All right, I'm going to pause yeah, go just on for one second. Pause for a break. That'll give us a chance to think. <laughs> hey, everyone, we're back. And uh, Matt's just been up to the bar, and he's got another couple of pints of uh, hop air balloon and a packet of uh, very fine Tyrell's lightly salted crisps. Well, you, you're saying the fact that they're lightly salted, that's just a purely subjective thing. They and are then, definitely lightly salted. Well, why, why are you mentioning the name of them? You know, are you, um, are you kind of trying to get on the bandwagon there? Well, because... Oh, it actually does say lightly salted. The, the, lis- salted, the listener know. might want to know. Well, you know, it says lightly sea salted, but are there any crisps that are lightly sweat salted? I, I've not come across those. Sweat salted crisps. Yeah, um, maybe Usain Bolt should, could get on the act. I'm sure that, you know, after a 100 metre run, you know, he exudes a fair amount of sweat. And um, those could be like Bolt's hand cooked Jamaican crisps. Lightly, medium, or slightly, or lightly. And we're looking at the picture now on the sweat salted Tyrell's packet. And they've got the three... It's a very <coughs> cheesy, nostalgic picture of three people on a beach, three women on a beach, and they're trying to do handstands. And this is children. not... This maybe is children. Yeah, yeah, maybe children. I think they may be teenagers, at least. They're well, not, it's a little, little bit little ambiguous. It's, you know, so they could be boys, could be girls, who cares? No, they are girls. Well, who knows? If it's not nostal- that nostalgic, it could be young men. No, you know? no, I would say from the shape and the hip shape, that to me tells that those are females of the species rather than males. Well, either way, one of them struggling to do a handstand. That's quite yeah. cool. So, I don't think Usain Bolt would struggle in this way. Bolt's hand cooked. Well, he, he'd be Christmas. like doing a power chariots run down the beach, wouldn't he? I mean, there's no, say, chariots run, chariots of fire running down the beach. There's not, you know, it's kind of a bit. The if you map. try to envisage Usain Bolt doing a Jamaican version of yeah. chariots of fire, there's no slow motion involved, is there really? But if it was, it, was, it would still exude more power. But. On the note of the uh, podcast name, what are we going to do? We're going to brainstorm it. We've got um, three and a half minutes left to do the name. What do you think, Matt? Well, I don't know. There's, there's different things that come to mind. Like, what are we trying to do? What are we trying to achieve? Are we trying to, you know, just record random nonsense? Is it about people's lives? Is it about just trying to put something out there that's... What about random people? nonsense? I think that's quite a good one. It's 25. I, I did like the one. No. I did like I mean, my one. It's kind one. of obvious, but it, it, I mean, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Just random nonsense. And if anyone's going to call something random nonsense, they probably wouldn't want to listen to it purely because it is just random nonsense. But that's the whole enticing aspect of random nonsense because I it is. Think, I think people would listen to it. Well, it's, it's, you well, know, it's pure honest, excitement in we could terms of it's, change it. you don't know what it's about. We could start with random nonsense and then change it. It's up to yeah, us. Yeah, you could change it to random nonsense mark two. Yeah. 25 or minutes in the pub. Random nonsense with a smile. 25 minutes. Well, it could be random nonsense with particularly specific non Nonsense. Talking about physics. Yeah, we can talk about physics. Yeah, we can talk about anything. We could talk, have to be I know. I'll tell you what we could do. We could do. It could be random nonsense about every week. We could choose a random subject to talk about, and we have well, to talk about. It for well, I mean, minutes. if it's random, then we should just put it out there. And let let people maybe okay. select. Maybe it could be. Random. I mean, like some people may argue there's no, there is nothing that is random. We but can't be random if we're putting it out there, can we? Well, yeah. Well, that's but, what I put. I mean, like you know, if you make it pretty random, yeah. then, you, then you have to list all topics known to mankind and how you would categorise those. I don't know. That's well, a major. That's a major kind of uh, you, task think, in itself. I think what we should do. And then, and then you'd have to like select some kind of massive roulette wheel, spin it, and see where it lands. And then, you know, even then it may not be random. You might have to make a quantum mechanical machine to do choose. Let's call it random nonsense about... And then every week we'll talk... We'll have a vague 
theme that we talk about. I like the idea of that, putting it out to people who listen to this. I mean, yeah. if there's only one person that listens to this and they choose the topic, then I then, totally. Then, then, I think then that sounds it. really we good. Just, okay, yeah. so shall we say that that random one, and then whoever we'll set up like a Twitter account and stuff like that, and uh, let people feed back to us. Yeah, and, and if there's a, a draw, random we can just put it in the hat. We can put it in the hat. I don't think there's going to be a draw. <laughs> <laughs> as lovely well, as lovely as that thought is, I, I think we'll be okay. That's an English thought. I think, draw. It, I think we'll be okay. A draw so, is embedded in the English mind. All right. Okay, well, I think, you know what, Matt? Let's we finish, are yeah? kind of winding this, I think this we're amazing finished. podcast. I think we've got 30 seconds left. So well, don't, take, don't, steal all the, don't steal all the talk. I've seen Count Vorderman twice. Yeah? What do you mean don't steal Would, the talk? Do you want to sleep with him? Well, it, well, you mean in uh, I'm a celebrity? Get me out of here? Or is that what, I don't know. Well, that's a bit of a point of question. You suddenly, see suddenly you're going, okay. Um, in Covent Garden, she's right. wearing a red suede outfit, trousers and jacket, okay. and randomly in Paris, we're going to leave looking for a jazz cafe. A jazz cafe in Amsterdam. And I saw. And uh, anyway. <laughs> Matt has stopped as soon as the, as the timer went to zero, he stopped. We can be assured every week that Matt's going to stop exactly on the timer. He's never going to break that. That's going to be his thing from now on. So, uh, anyway, we're going to carry this on next week. Okay, so uh, big love out to all our listeners. Hit the theme tune.